What up, y'all? It's your boys. I'm going to two back here. And when we last left off, we made our way back to Figaro. And the king hath returned. Our next stop is Culligan. Yes, we do. Let's get right to it. Alrighty, right back underneath we go. It's a bit of a way. Look at that. Yeah, the world of Ruin is going to be a little bit more unorthodox. Hmm, that's correct. Unorthodox. Definitely going to be just a little bit different. Next stop, call again. Watch your step. Oop. Here we go. Okay, let's look at the world map real quick. Uh, they still keep coming. Alrighty, let's move on. I believe this is it. Call again. Ah, uh, and that music. Those beautiful days will never return. Of course they won't, unfortunately. The children run free. Ah, uh, those were the days. Just, to, I want to say about 19 episodes ago. Well, Four episodes ago. Nars is filled with monsters. I don't have any place to go home to. Okay. Well, that sucks. There's a real mean guy fighting at the Coliseum. Seems like he's looking for a weapon called the Striker. Huh. There's, there's still some people with vision, even in this world, like my little brother up north. And some man with a, with a quaint way of talking to you said, Oh, thou? Huh. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. This weird dude's place. Kept uh, a girl in... Huh? Luck? You must be searching the world over that fabled treasure. Find the treasure and you'll find Luck. She's still in suspended animation, too. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if we can look at the pub real quick. Would you look at that? World's greatest gambler. He's back. Set your, your life. I don't know if I have it in me anymore. I'm just a gambler. I just want to be left alone. This world's too chaotic for me. What's worse is I've lost my wings. Yeah, we were all there for it. We really were. You fought with all your heart. You were absolutely fearless. That was then. I could never have that world back. <laughs> Alright, you win. I'm starting to feel lucky. Thanks, I needed that. Now let's go visit Daryl's tomb. By the way, Daryl's tomb leads us to the next big goal. We're gonna get us another one. An airship, that is. Yep, that's exactly what it means. We are getting another airship. Let's take a look at the location. And let me move my mic a little bit forward. There we go. Next stop, Daryl's Tomb. Okay, he's equipped. Got darts. Here, let's give him a couple of relics while we're at it. No, he doesn't need any Genji gloves. But... We're going to give him coin toss back. And... The Cherub down. Yeah. I think that's going to be perfect. We are going to... Rummage. Within Daryl's tomb. 
Alrighty. Can't be too careful. Hang on. Don't sleep in bed, so we'll just pitch a tent. Save? Alrighty. Now. This person, she was your friend? Yeah, she was a piece of work. Nothing ever scared her. Oh. Could be anything lurking down there. So keep your eyes peeled. Alrighty. Daryl's Tomb, Basement 1. Now, I don't remember this, um, this place very well. Do yourself a favor, though. Don't hesitate to use GP Rain. Tombstone is blank. Carve something? Nothing appropriate comes to mind. Uh-huh. Don't be afraid to use GP Rain, though. Be forewarned. The enemies here like to make you one dead. One of them. Goobble gobble, goobble gobble. Yeah, that's uh, that's very real. Let's give him uh, an Esper. Such is gonna need a lot of magic. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, poor Saban. Oh, yeah, like I said, they like to make you undead. Make you one of them. Keep everybody healthy. Now let's back here. Okay. Some water. Let's keep going forward. Yeah, there's a good reason why you get revivifies. On to the turtle. This reminds me of the water dungeon from uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Well, nothing here. I do remember this place, you know, having a, a bit of a complex uh, layout, though. The only bad thing about this place is you don't get a lot of experience points. Letters have been carved here. Kissick? Irao. Gloro. And quit. You know what it says, though? Oh, yeah. This is a cool puzzle. If you pay attention, if you spell it all backwards, you spell something really interesting. Something that I loved as a kid. Hang on. Carve something? Hello? Isk? You spell that backwards, it says the world is square. Find the EXP egg hidden in the back room in the third basement. It's a very rare relic, by the way. Okay, let's make our way back real quick. Alrighty. Let's try it down here. Ooh, a Genji helmet. Yes. Good to have. Even more powerful than the diamond helmet. Alrighty. Progress is being made. Crystal mail. I'm going to give this to Celis. She's already got a crystal helmet. Caesarina gown. Oh, hang on a second. Let's take a look at that real quick. Let's see. Uh, we'll look at it later. Okay, one more thing. 
Look out for the Mad Oscars. The Mad Oscars will render you with plenty of status effects. They're basically just Marlboros. Very famous in the Final Fantasy uh, series. They're Bad Breath Attack, or in this case, the Sour Mouth. Okay, what I need to do is I need to drain this water. That way I have access to the bottom. Alrighty. And what was that? Huh. Okay, I got a little too carried away from backtracking. Okay, the EXP egg should be around here. There we go. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> oh, good lord. The presenter, a.k.a. the Angler Whelk. Now, just like the very first boss from the beginning, at the very beginning of this game, attack, uh, don't attack the shell. You kill the shell, you fuck up something good. Uh-oh. Oh! Did that really just happen? Oh, okay. I guess it didn't. The Dragon Claws for saving? Or what you want. Hell yeah. Didn't take anything. Let's see what we got. The Man Eater. Ooh, metal. Daryl sleeps here. Uh oh. The Dullahan. Okay. As an undead enemy, well, it's not necessarily, you know, immune to, uh, everything, though, but I'll tell you this right now, he hits hard. Definitely a more vengeful spirit, if you ask me. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have two attackers, and we're gonna try to have two healers. In this case, I think I'm gonna have Celis as our healer. Alright, be careful. Definitely that Cesar Arena uh, ring uh, works out though, because I'll tell you this. What just happened? Cast Safe and Shell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Haste on all of my attackers. Okay. Ooh, Ice 3. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah, that's not good. That's very, very much not good. Okay. I underestimated him. I very much did. Now, one thing that really sucks is that Dolohan does... Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, I'm so offended right now. Dolohan has spells that you can't use Runic on. However... We can still ruin it. Oh yeah, and there's that. Yeah, don't forget to use Runic, everybody. Alrighty, here we go. Boom. Alrighty. Let's keep reviving everybody. And we're gonna keep Runic. All right, hang in there, hang in there. Hang in there, everybody. Phoenix down. Bring everybody back. Get the chainsaw it up. 
keep Runic going. Oh, that's wonderful. There we go. Lock the pearl. Now, here's one thing you don't know. Pearl, in the American version, is actually holy. Yes, because of censorship. Keep ready, all heal together. Come on, stay up, stay up, stay up. Alright, now we attack back. He really loves his ice magic. Not gonna lie. He really does. Chainsaw it up. There we go. Runic again. And just keep on pumping and pumping and pumping. There we go. Aw, oh, come on, Edgar. Now, that's one move that we can't uh, block. Hang on. God damn it. Really? Okay, I'll just drill them. Yeah, be very aware about the chainsaw. Because it will try to go for an instant kill. Oh, just like that. He did! Oh, that was scary. Not gonna lie, I don't ever remember Dullahan being that hard. Sensor's caught up to us. Let's not worry about the XP egg right now. We'll worry about that later. Let's keep going forward, shall we? And this brings back a lot of memories. This experimental airship is probably going to be a bit unstable. You can't be serious. What are you trying to prove? I like how they can see this cut key. Oh, the cutscene. Watch a step. <laughs> it's like they're watching his memories. If something should happen to me, the Falcon's yours. Heh, <laughs> nonsense. I want the Falcon from you when I whip in that race. Better clear out of my way. Flashback down to memory lane. Definitely. Oh, back when the Earth had blue water and blue skies. Huh. I remember as a kid there was a lot of blue skies. Not very much these days. A lot more clouds. Yeah, it's nothing like flying. Pretty identical. Come on, stop lagging back there. Quite speedy. I think this is the only Final Fantasy game that, into my mes uh, recent memories, where you get two airships. Sounds for real. I'm going to break every record. I'll be known as the woman who flew the closest to the stars. Uh, the next game you actually go to the stars. Matter of fact, Cloud goes to the stars. He goes to a a meteor damn near. The wreck of the Falcon was found a full year later in a distant land. Oh, tragic. I restored the crap and I put it to rest down here. 
This is the Falcon. I put it in storage. Couldn't bear to look at it. Now it just might save us. Falcon. And apparently she still runs really well. Out of the water. They should have called that the Phoenix. Because it arose. <laughs> I finally think we're going to pull this off. We can attack Kefka's tower from the air. The Falcon's going to go to give us one last chance at it. One last chance at the guy. But first we need to find our friends. Right. First things first. For once I feel hopeful. Would you look at that? A bird. Where's it taking us? That's her. Follow that bird. But why? I don't know. Just something inside tells me it's important. You know it is. I'll tell you that. You hear that beautiful tune? That is called Searching for Friends. And you know what? Before we land... You know what? We'll land. Because the search for friends... Well, the search for friends now just continues. It just continues with wings. And we're going to continue with wings on the very next episode. Much love... And I will see you later. Peace!